And finally, for something uh, a bit lighter, um, I have a pitch. None of us are happy, and, and look, if there's someone who's happy with how the, the final Star Wars trilogy turned out, uh, you're in the minority. I, I mean, I, I liked the message, and I liked, you know, what they were trying to convey, but it's actual service to that trilogy. The idea that people like the prequel trilogy better does not reflect well on execution. Um, sorry, JJ, maybe you were just, like, too divided between all of your projects, and if you had, I mean, not that, and Ryan Johnson is an amazing, amazing director, um, but just an inability for the two of you guys to come together and create a vision, which should have been amazing, is tough, but you know what, Carrie Fisher died in the middle, and that sucks. So, um, who knows what the third film would have been, because you couldn't have the arc that you wanted. So... Here's what I suggest. There will be people who hate this idea. There will be people who will be so angry and lead revolutions. But it is time to combine the Marvel universes into one story and recreate the final Star Wars trilogy. Yes, it means adding reality jumping into the Star Wars universe. But this is a bad couple of options that we have. We can completely, we can go crazy trying to create new works, or we can appreciate that Mark Hamill is still alive, and we could do something that in some way brought multiple universes and multiple realities into the Star Wars universe. And you know what? The people who hate it are just going to have to hate it. And I think you could work in The Mandalorian. You could especially work in WandaVision. And I would like to see you work in the Stephen king averse, which actually has its own sort of weird overlay between different stories. If you, you know, read The Dark Tower and you watch things like uh, Castle Rock, it's got, you know, the idea that it spans from the gunslinger in science fiction all the way to Andy Dufresne in The Shawshank Redemption. That is an incredible swath that lives in the Stephen king averse, and it somehow works. If we can take the Disney Marvel verse and bring it together, and we can be tasteful about the whole thing. But I think an art house Star Wars reboot focusing on Mark Hamill and Luke Skywalker that exists in the world between the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy, but also opens up a dimension to tell a new trilogy that can be seen as the trilogy without having to CGI resurrect people who are dead. Harrison Ford, might I add, is still alive as well. So we have limited time. We have limited time. But from this space cadet, I'm saying we should at least open the talks because we need something else to focus on. And the crazy thing is, I am not willing to talk about a fourth Back to the Future movie, but I am willing to talk about combining Stephen king averse Star Wars, and Disney movies to, the, the, to bring us together in a story of positive, how crazy are these different universes, but... Can we find a way? If Guardians of the Galaxy, if Gu you have a Muppet and Chris Pratt going all the way into the Iron Man universe and the, the Black Panther universe. Come on. Now just let Tarantino take that into the Star Trek universe. And we're gold. Star Trek 4. Can I be a producer, please? Please?